Hello! Well, hello, and welcome to another video about muscle figurines. You know, the little rubber guys that all do the wrestlings and that. Kanuka Man, I believe, in Japan, did a video on them recently about ones licensed from the movie Alien. Well, I found three more interesting pop culture crossovers in the muscle universe. Anyway, you go and stand over there as, like, the control or something. No, he's gone too far away and he's fallen over. Oh, well, such is life. There we are. Everything was better in the end. Presenting first, the obvious crossover, very small rubber wrestlers. Well, it's got to be He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, hasn't it? Obviously. Millions of unusual small creatures lurking everywhere. Yes, muscle, with even He-Man doing the big-eyed, leaping-in wrestling pose. So what do you get for however much money I spent on these that I can't remember? Well, you get little packs of three from Super 7 there. I'm sure they have different ways of packaging them, though. Um, originally, they often came in bins, like little plastic uh, rubbish bins. Garbage cans, if you prefer. And yes, I imagine they're doing some of those as well. But I haven't seen any. I've only seen these. Oh my god. They're mighty heroes and warriors from Eternia. They're rough and rowdy renegades from Snake Mountain. They're flexible, durable, and unstoppable. They're muscle. Yep, these Super 7 guys have really gone all out on the packaging here. Available in three-pack assortments in a variety of colours. Each assortment sold separately. Go on then, what's Skeletor saying? <laughs> Skeletor here. My evil minions and I will steal the secrets of Castle Greyskull. <laughs> Not if I, He-Man, can help it. The heroic warriors of Eternia will be the true champs. The only true champ among the masters of the universe is Clamp Champ. And he has a clamp, and you don't. You let me down, He-Man. Collect them all, all your favourites. Snake Mountain. Yes, you can actually get the um, sort of uh, locations and the buildings in there, which I don't quite understand. That doesn't really work, does it? Battle Armor Skeletor, Prince Adam, Roboto, Mechanic, Zodak. Ah, oh, good old Zodak. The Cosmic Enforcer. What the fuck did that mean? Skeletor 2. Uh, this time it's personal. Cobra Khan, Evil Lin and Fisto. Ah, uh, but who have we got here? Well, quite obviously it's Mechanic, it's Battle Cat, and... Is that He-Man? I don't think that is. I think there's some vest going on there. That is actually Prince Adam, hence the smile. Anyway, unfortunately these are far too expensive to open, so uh, we shan't be doing that. Um, yeah, they, they're made out of a sort of different, slightly more plasticky rubber, or rubber, rubbery plastic than the last time. And of course the colour is slightly different. These are far sort of brighter and slightly more orangey, I would have said. So, Battle Cat, there he is. The mighty Cringer becomes the worthless Battle Cat. I'm sure that's how that worked. Um, possibly the He-Man figure can ride that? I don't know. I haven't got one. Oh, look! But Prince Adam there can. Yeah, I'm thinking that is Prince Adam. There's a sort of hint of a vest there, isn't it? And big smiley face. Because he's about to hold aloft his magic sword and say, Buy some powers in Grey Skull." I have some powers. And then he transforms into Yoda. And finally, good old Mechanic doing his extendable neck. Because uh, if you're not familiar with Masters of the Universe, the whole He-Man universe, basically everybody had their own sort of speciality, I suppose, their little niche they did. Mechanic, for instance, his neck extended and he had really good binoculars so he could see over a distance because that's genuinely quite useful, I suppose. And um, then there were ones like Snout Spout, who had a big robotic elephant head so he could spew water on fires and put them out, and you're like, yeah, okay, guys. Right, next up, Street Fighter 2, because Street Fighter 1 is a game nobody really cares about. Look, there's Ryu flying in in the pose. And we've got <coughs> M. Bison, or a Vega in Japan, Upside down Ryu, the deadliest Ryu of all, and Vega there. Or Balrog, if you're in Japan, I believe. What's on the back? Oh, they're just, uh, they're just using generic um, text there. That's a bit of a shame. Ryu here. The world warriors and I will be the true champs. Fool, I am Bison and Shadaloo will destroy your warriors. For some reason, Capcom never get back to me when I offer to do voices. Collect all 12. Oh, God, hang on, there's more coming. Alien... Th is that Alien 3? No, it isn't. That's just a registered trademark when I look at it in my actual eyes, not through the viewfinder. Robotech, Mega Man, and Super Shogun. Interesting. But let's see what these little blighters are like. I'm guessing rubbery. Yeah, I'm quite liking Bison there. There's some good uh, detailing on the face. Looks miserable. Has that kind of uh, muscle, weird, smult... Well, extremely muscly, I suppose. Hench. Let's use the word hench design on them. Yeah big weird eyes with no pupils, much like he is in the uh, super versions of the game. Yeah, pretty good. Here's Ryu looking 
Gonna be honest, a bit potato-headed. Could even pass for evil Ryu, couldn't he, with the uh, look on his face there. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about that one. Hmm. Do they have the same amount of toes as they do fingers? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, they do. Well done. Attention to detail. Um, yeah, it looks a bit weird, though. A little bit too top-heavy, that bugger. And Vega. Oh, that's more like it. Yeah, I quite like that one. Unfortunately, his claws have got bent in the package. Can we put them back into proper Wolverine snicked mode? Maybe so. There, that'll do. Yeah, I like that. That's by far my favourite one, the Vega there. Vega's good, Bison's good, not so keen on the old Ryu. Look, they've even got his, uh, if the camera wants to look at it, thank you. Even got his uh, ponytail thing going on. And finally, interestingly, so they did Alien, and now they've done Aliens! The sequel, you see? And they've even replaced the single alien jumping in with multiple ones. Hey, you see, you see how they've done that. Um, oh, generic stuff. Aliens, game over, man, game over! Uh, he will be missed, the mighty Bill Paxton. And of course, yeah, the Xenomorph is saying nothing, because it shouldn't say nothing. Coming soon, The Worst. Now that sounds... I know what The Worst is. It's like a series of um, weird villain figures that Super 7 came up with. They did them in sort of a retro style. I have the one, the Phantom Gasser, that's based on the Mad Gasser of Mattoon. Anyway, that is irrelevant, because we have lots of alien people. Let's rip it open and see who's lurking inside. Oop. I think it's kind of the big three, if you like. Obviously, the Xenomorph itself. Uh, nah. That's not his extra mouth coming out, it's just choking, choking on a toothbrush. Um, yeah, that does the trick, really. It's got all the weird pipes on the back. It's got the interesting semi-wrestling pose. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. That's, that's a good little one. Also, it'll stand up nicely because of the tail, so ten points. And then we have Ellen Ripley herself holding... Uh, what would that be? It looks like flamethrower there, is it? That stage trying to think. Yeah, that'll do. Can we... Um, what is it? I'm trying to think. Is it a pulse rifle? It doesn't look like a pulse rifle, does it? Anyway, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think we should compare it to Ripley from the Alien ones. You can see, haircut changed. They've gone for a very similar face, as well they should. And yeah, quite like that. Um, yeah, No complaints on that, you can tell who it is. And finally, it's Hicks, I believe, with his shotgun. Excuse me, would you mind eating this? Is, of course, his famous catchphrase. And, of course, he actually managed to sort of survive the events of Aliens. Spoilers. Didn't go too well for him in Alien 3. Anyway, that's pretty good. He's got a giant fist, as these uh, wrestling guys should. Maybe a little bit too giant, as compared to the other one. Mm, not sure about that. But, yeah, he's got his little... Uh, headset on and everything. That's pretty good. Well done. Well, I really like these um, little pop culture frivolities, little cheap things. Um, they sort of do the part. They've got a lot of retro going on from a lot of angles, which I enjoy. And they don't have massive, super deformed heads, so that's at least something a bit different. And if you collect them all, you'll have spent an awful lot of money on things you didn't really need, so that's something to bear in mind. Subscribe for more.